2018 Ford Focus Review. As the sun sets for this generation in the Ford Focus, it remains a quietly competent compact car. The 2018 Ford Focus is usually a well-rounded and competent small car. It's available in various flavors, including a Northfields commuter machine, a high-performance hatchback and, yes, while an The core appeal with the 2018 Ford Focus, however, remains its comfortable ride in conjunction with enjoyable handling and also a quiet interior. We also such as the available SYNC 3 infotainment system. It's fast and powerful and supports Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, ensuring your commute won't lack entertainment. On the downside, the Focus rear seating is tighter than its competitors, and the accessible 1.0-litre three-cylinder engine's power can sound inadequate if you are excelled to highway speeds or passing. Certain rivals best the 2018 Focus in these areas, but we presume it's worth a peek if hang to get a small sedan or hatchback. What's new? The Ford Focus is actually unchanged for 2018. The slow hatchback with all the 2.0-litre engine hits the sweet spot in terms of features, driver drain and functionality. The SYNC 3 infotainment system alone is practically worth the upgrade, bringing Android Auto and Apple CarPlay integration so that you can skip the optional navigation upgrade. You'll appreciate the hatchback's dual and climate control, rear parking sensors and enormous cargo area. The 1.0-litre engine isn't obtainable in this trim, that is okay because its fuel economy benefits don't outweigh its lackluster power. Trim Levels and Features The 2018 Ford Focus is really a front-wheel drive compact economy car that's available as a sedan or hatchback. It comes in various styles and trim levels. The core starts while using bare bones S, which can be followed by the budget conscious A, the well-equipped SIL plus the top off the line titanium. Adjacent to these trims can be an electric variant that's called, simply, electric. The performance-oriented SD and high-performance RS, who have more powerful engines and aggressive suspension tuning, are reviewed separately. The base S trim is obtainable only to be a sedan and employs a 2.0-litre four-cylinder engine 160 horsepower, 146 pound-feet of torque. A 5-speed manual transmission is standard, plus a 6-speed automatic is optional. It is included with 15-inch steel wheels, keyless entry, air conditioning, a height-adjustable driver seat, 6,040 split-folding rear seats, a tilt handless coping leader, a rear-view camera, a 4.2-inch central display, power front windows manual rear windows, power locks and mirrors, Ford's Mikey Limits Speed, Audio Volume, etc., for young drivers, voice controls, Bluetooth, a four-speaker head unit and USB port. One improve is the Say, which can be available to be a hatchback or sedan. The hatchback comes using the 2.0-litre engine and six-speed automatic, as you move the sedan runs on a turbocharged 1.0-litre three-cylinder engine 123 horsepower, 125 lbft of torque along with a six-speed manual transmission or possibly a six-speed automatic. Standard say equipment includes 16-inch alloy wheels, cruise control, power rear windows, a vacation computer, a front center armrest rear air vents as well as a six-speaker subwoofer. Available options will include a cold weather package adds heated mirrors and heated front seats and tire. Say trims equipped with all the 1.0-litre engine gain access to an appearance package that contributes different 16-inch wheels, daytime running lights, fog lights and black exterior detail elements. A 17-inch wheel upgrade can be available with this package. The sole trim is available as being a sedan or hatchback. Standard equipment includes 17-inch wheels, daytime running lights, fog lights, 
a sunroof, ambient interior lighting, Dualto and automatic climate control, rear proximity sensors, an 8-inch entertainment screen with SYNC 3 includes Android Auto and Apple CarPlay support, two USB charging ports plus a 10-speaker Sony music system. Options add some aforementioned cold weather package and navigation with satellite radio. The Focus Titanium provides the highest degree of standard equipment. Its exterior wears an alternative style of 17-inch wheel and chrome exterior trim. The interior gets leather trim seats, 4-way adjustable headrests, 8-way power adjustable driver seat, a leather wrapped shift knob, rear center armrest, seat back map pockets and remote start. While the cold weather package is standard, an optional titanium technology package adds automatic high beams blind spot monitoring with cross traffic alert, and lane departure warning. As you would possibly guess, the hatchback and leaf focus electric is powered by a power motor 143 horsepower, 184 lbft of torque that runs viaduct a single speed automatic transmission. EP estimated range is 115 miles. It's equipped similarly for the titanium trim but boasts and on headlights and restyled taillights. Leather trim seats are optional. Trim tested. Each vehicle typically also comes in multiple versions that happen to be fundamentally similar. The S within this review provide our full test with the 2016 Ford Focus SA Turbo 1.0 liters in line 3. 6-speed dual clutch automatic, FWD. Note, since this test was conducted, the actual focus has gotten only minor revisions. Our findings remain broadly applicable for this year's focus. Liter focus is rated at a humble 123 horsepower and 125 lbft of torque, and real world output feels even weaker. Flooring the accelerator is frequently required to sustain traffic. The transmission is usually well paved. Handling is excellent for the class. Acceleration. Turbocharger adds slightly moxie at lower engine speeds, focus on little. It lacks the simple thrusts on most modern turbos, despite healthy torque, and possesses to work difficult to keep up. 0 to 60 miles per hour took a leisurely 10.6 seconds within our tests. Braking. The pedal feel is intuitive in everyday usage, along with the focus brakes easily and reassuringly. In a simulated panic stop from 60 miles per hour, this situation covered 120 feet, the average performance given its economy bias tires. Steering. The Focus is light and rather numb steering best for parking, yet it's also responsive and confidence inspiring by class standards. The car feels eager, not reluctant, to switch direction, along with the steering is usually a bigger part of that. Handling Body roll is notable but expected. What's not expected may be the verve on this car over a winding road. Ford has tuned the suspension masterfully, imbuing even this economy-minded model which has a playful, light in its feet character. Drivability Recent revisions for the dual-clutch automatic transmission allow it to become feel mostly normal, however the gas pedal is clearly tuned for eking out every last drop of gas. If you want to make meaningful progress, mashing it is a personal only option. Comfort the Focus Sedan's compliant ride and quiet cabin help it become a segment favorite for relaxed cruising. The hard door armrests with perfunctory fabric trim detract from your experience, but this really is still one from the most comfortable cars in the price range, for front passengers, a minimum of seat comfort. The front seats are rather nondescript but prove supportive in regular use, even on longer trips. The thinly padded armrests are disappointing. The rear seats can be pleasant enough, however, there is a shortage of rear legroom. Ride comfort. 
Despite the Focus Advanced stage, its suspension is fairly possibly the segment's best at absorbing imperfections. The car really feels unsettled. It's as if you are gliding on a road, except there exists a consistent sense control. Noise and vibration. The Focus is really a class leader in noise insulation. Many economy cars let in ample wind and road noise, even so the Focus largely keeps it from exploding. This test car was without the engine drone issue we noted inside the manual transmission model. Interior The stylized dashboard puts most controls in close proximity. However the tiny central display is about the identical size because drip computer. Buttons can be not easy to differentiate immediately, even though the snug back seat is bested by those of the majority of rivals. Unlike the chassis, the cabin is showing its age. Ease beneficial. Most controls fall watchily handy. We much like the airflow interface's human pictogram. However some buttons look exactly the same. The central display is exceptionally small, though still legible. It's functional but somewhat behind the changing times. Getting and jetting out. The doors are tall but compact, easing access and tight spots. The front seats are mounted pleasantly high for graceful entrances. If taller people are sitting up front. Rear and tri exit can be tough due to encroaching front seat backs. Roominess The front row has enough space for larger occupants but adjusts well to some wide range of physiques. Rear legroom is unusually sparse just for this class, most rivals offer noticeably more. Rear headroom can also be tight for tall passengers. Visibility the thin front roof pillars afford an expansive view through turns. The view in the hood is likewise generous. The standard rear view camera compensates for that focus sedan's high ramp, utilizing the guesswork beyond parking. Utility Trunk capacity is slightly above average at 13.2 cubic feet. The rear seat backs fold flat. However the pass-through are often more generous. Interior storage is so-so, you will discover a place to stash your phone, but 4 doesn't allow it to be easy.